Sony has finally decided to reveal details about this PlayStation 5 VR update for every Sony X900 Edge owner and everybody else that has VRR support, this is for you. So they have released or they've uploaded this blog which shows what we can expect in the future for the PlayStation 5. So they've released this update on PS5 and PS4, not VRR update, just something about party and UI and stuff. But yeah, there's also some PlayStation app and remote play as you can see right here. However, on the horizon, variable refresh rate which stands for VRR support for PS5. This is what they said about this thing. We're also pleased to share that variable refresh rate or VRR is planned to release on PS5 in the coming months, so it's not coming soon, on HDMI 2.1 compatible TVs and PC monitors. VRR dynamically syncs the refresh rate of the display to the PS5 console's graphical output. This enhances visual performance for PS5 games by minimizing or eliminating uh, the visual artifacts such as frame pacing issues and screen tearing, which is what we all been waiting for. Gameplay in many PS5 titles feels smoother, for example Deathloop, as scenes render instantly, graphics look crisper and input lag is reduced. Previously released PS5 games can be fully optimized or utilized for VRR through a game patch and future games may include VRR support at launch. So this is the picture that they've shown us as you can see right here. You can see that we can uh, turn it off as well I guess and, or just leave it on automatic or we can also use it on unsupported games. Any game at all, maybe GTA 5 even or like Deathloop which has that balanced mode I believe native 4k and like 50s FPS or for example Elden Ring this will be very useful so yeah I'll tell you about this guys as soon as it comes out see you next time if you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and ringing that bell and also like comment and share thanks for watching